G'day, welcome to I Cultivate. My name's Steve, and today we're going to be looking at growing sweet corn. This is my current crop of sweet corn ready to harvest. But before I do that, I'm going to plant out another bed of corn ready for the next season. This is the bed into which I'm now going to plant my new crop of corn. Now corn is a really heavy feeder, so therefore you need to make sure that within the bed you've got such things as well-aged chicken manure, um, compost, blood and bone dug through to ensure that all those essential nutrients are available to the plant as it is growing. So let's now plant the seeds. A couple of things to keep in mind though. You need to plant them about two and a half centimetres deep. You want them about 25 centimetres apart and rows of about 50 centimetres apart as well would be good. So let's get that done. So I've now got three rows of corn here planted, about 50 centimetres apart, and within each row, each seed has been sown about 25 centimetres apart. Let's now have a look at harvesting our corn. So now I'm going to harvest this corn. But before I do that, a couple of things to be aware of. You'll notice how closely the corn has been planted together, as mentioned just a moment ago. The reason for this is because corn is wind pollinated. You have the male flower at the top here, and it produces pollen that then falls down through the crop. The closer you have got, up to a point, the corn planted, the more effective the pollination will be and therefore the better quality corn cob that will be produced. Corn cobs that have only got random kernels formed on them are an indicator of poor pollination. So those cobs that have formed well with well distributed compact kernels are cobs that have been subjected to good pollination. So how do I know when my corn is ready to harvest? Well, it comes down to the silks on the top of the corn cobs. Newly developing corn cobs have got very fine green feathery silks, but as they become pollinated and grow and mature, those silks tend to brown off as you can see here. When the silks have browned off, that is an indicator that the cob is probably ready to harvest. Another quick check that you can perform is to literally just peel back the covering of the corn. And you can see the corn kernels here are nicely formed. That tells us that this is ready to harvest. So let's now harvest. Simply pull and twist. Pull and twist. And there's two cobs. This is my harvest of corn from that really small area. The size of the cobs varies, but you know, I don't really care because even the smallest one will deliver the juiciest corn. Well, let's have a look. Look at that for a beautiful cob of corn. I think that will be part of dinner tonight. Fantastic. The last point for this video is that corn is probably the best crop that I have seen for freezing. So don't be concerned about having too much. Simply strip back the leaves and then take the cob, cut it into the desired lengths and then simply throw it into the freezer. It will be as good in three months time as it is today. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Can I please encourage you to leave your comments on this YouTube channel and also go to our website iCultivate.net and join the community. Thanks for watching.